If you want to see data about your campaigns in Google Analytics 4, you need to use something called UTM parameters. UTM parameters are just some values you add to your page's URL address. So for example, here's one of the emails in my newsletter. When you click on this link, you land on my GA4 for e-commerce course and landing page. Let's zoom in one of the URLs here. Notice how this part is the URL of the page. And then all of this in red is, is the UTM parameters. You can clearly see all of them have UTM UTM and then something after that. This way Google Analytics 4 can detect the values and display them in the dashboards without any additional setup. <laughs> Hello, my name is Robert and I'm here to help you understand and analyze data to make better decisions in e-commerce. So let me show you how you can easily create a URL with correct UTM parameters using a free Google tool. I see many of my clients get this wrong and so they don't track their campaigns correctly. So this is the UTM URL builder and you can just start by adding your page here so this is my course landing page so I'm gonna just grab the URL from here and I'm gonna add it here now let's say this I want to add this URL to my email so uh, let's take that into account the campaign ID you can just skip this it's usually used for ads and anyway if you use Google Ads you will add that automatically and I think even in Facebook pixel it's also added automatically or at least you can do it in the dashboard so you'll have a place where you can add that and then here we have campaign source and this is important that you use one of the default options that Google provides by the way I've created a cheat sheet of all the default source and medium UTM values that Google expects and a short explanation of how and when to use each of the parameters grab it by clicking on the first link in the description and just so you know the only mandatory fields here are the campaign source medium and name you can skip all the other ones if you don't want to use them but basically let's now add here source in my case it's newsletter and then we have medium and we have campaign name in this case it's flash sale june and then we could add campaign term but this is usually used for paid keywords and also you have here different ads if you have different for example emails that you want to distinguish you could add here for example intro email and then later there's a hard sale email uh, but you could also just add that already here. So let's say this is on the 5th of June. This is when the email goes out. That's what I can add then. And uh, this way I can distinguish the campaigns from each other or the links from each other. But I could say also uh, here campaign content is the top CTA. So that way I know if somebody clicked at the top of the email or at the bottom of the email, with the, which has both the same URL. So this is ready now. If you scroll down, you have the whole URL here. Let's copy it, open a new tab, and then just visit this URL. Great. Now you can see that you have this whole section here with the UTM parameters. If you need to add any other parameters here, maybe uh, some sort of a source code for your coupons, remember, you can just add it by pressing on and sign and then adding uh, your coupon, for example, equals. So something like that. What I've seen in previously with some of the clients I work with that people add it with a question mark. You cannot add two question marks to a URL. It will just break it. So you have question mark already here and URL cannot have two. So make sure if you're adding more uh, parameters to this URL that you don't do it twice. So instead of the question mark, if there's already one, then add and sign here and then it will work no matter what. Now, if you wait a day, then you come to GA4, you should see this in here. So you go in reports, you have acquisitions and traffic acquisition. And now if I scroll down, I have the uh, default channel grouping here, but I actually want to see by campaign. And if I filter it by that or sort it, you can see that I have now flash sale June. I used this yesterday, so that's why you're seeing it here. In case you want to see it immediately today and you don't want to wait until this appears tomorrow in the GA4, you can use something called debug mode. Now, I'm not going to show you how to use it. It's a bit more advanced. So if you want to learn how to do it, I'll put a tutorial in your top right corner. There's a banner. If you click on that, it'll take you to a tutorial showing how to use that. Now you know about UTM parameters, but GA4 default reports are full of metrics and dimensions you don't need and using them will just waste your time. That's why you should watch this video next if you want to learn the most useful reports in GA4 for specifically for e-commerce websites.